Hello YouTube, it's Paper Tutorials here today, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a hexaflexagon. And these are just really cool toys to play with on your board. Sitting in line waiting, you just flip, flip. This is a six-sided hexaflexagon, and... I will now start with the tutorial. Okay, what you're going to need for this tutorial is a ruler, which is optional, a sheet of paper, and a piece of tape. My sheet of paper is already cut because I already made a hexaflexagon from this sheet of paper, but it's fun. So, what I do is I like to cut my paper at two centimeters so I don't know if you can see that two centimeters right there it's usually where I tear it fold it about that much now beware that the wider your sheet your strip of paper is the more strips you will need to make a hexaflexagon so just keep that in mind so about two centimeters doesn't have to be exact. Just hold it like so. Then flip it over. Fold another one, another strip, the same exact size. And just do this until you think you have enough for 19 triangles to fit on each one. I'll show you that later. If you're not sure, just we'll watch the whole tutorial first, and it'll make sense too. So. These are my two strips of paper. Now, I only need two strips of paper because I'm only doing about two centimeters. Yep, it's a little bit more than two centimeters, but it's fine. So now, the rest of the tutorial. All you're going to do, tape these two sheets. Okay, so after that, I know my sheets aren't perfect, but either way, it'll work out in the end, you'll see. So you have this strip of paper, depending on how wide your strip of paper is, it will determine how long it will be. So mine is just about this long. So now, what you're going to do, the important part. You are going to take this corner right here, see this corner, and depending on how wide your paper is, the wider your paper is, the farther away from that, from the half of your paper it's going to be. So the higher it's going to be away from the half of your paper. So this is about, this corner is about half in the middle of my strip of paper. So you want to make it a little bit higher in the middle of your strip of paper so you don't want it to be down here you want it to be up here a little bit so like so let's do it that way okay so now after you've done that hold your strip of paper this way the tri the corner pointing down to make an equilateral triangle all you have to do is Take the tip of this corner, and you are going to put it upwards. So I know what you're saying. I'm saying, you're saying, what is this? This doesn't look like an equilateral triangle. Well, no, because you're not done yet. So, after you're done with that, you are going to flip it over. Now it's an equilateral triangle, because when it was like this, it's an upside-down equilateral triangle. This is how it's supposed to be. So, to make more of them, this is the easier part. Flip your sheet of paper over, and you just fold like so. Back and forth.
Okay, and once you think you have about 19 equilateral triangles, you don't really have to do the whole entire sheet. Just get it to where you have 19. So, I'm going to count these. Uh, paperweight. Okay, so I'm going to count these. One, two, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So nineteen is right here. And how you can tell it also if you have nineteen, if your first one is pointing downwards, then the nineteenth triangle should also be pointing downwards where you would tear it. So it should also be pointing downwards. If it's not, then you count it wrong. And same way for up. They should both be facing up. So, you just tear off the excess like this. This first piece you made, just want to tear that off. Huh? Throw that away. And let me find it again. Because <laughs> I lost it. That was pretty dumb. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Right here. So I'm just going to tear this. Huh? And the excess you do not need. Unless you want to use it on another hexaflexagon. But you don't need it for right now. So this is what your strip of paper should now look like. 19 equilateral triangles total. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to put your paper over, okay, to where it's like this. They're both pointing down like a mountain. The first one is like a mountain. So should the last one be like a mountain. So what you're going to do, you're going to count one, two, three. The third one, you're going to hold and fold to the back of the second one. So it's just like this. Like so. And then you're going to count one, two, three, four. Four goes up. Four is the top one. The top one, just want to bring down like that. So you want to go backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards and it should be pretty easy because it's how you folded it so it should just take the shape easily shouldn't have to put much effort into that and at the end you should get something that looks like this you should have two excess pieces right here that hang off the bottom and one well, it's not really excess, but it's there. Okay, so now after you have your paper like this, you are going to hold it up this way with the two sides, like here, like so. So, you're going to take, you're going to count one, two, three, four, actually. The fourth one you're going to want to put to the front of the third one. Okay? And then... From there, you're going to count one, two, three, four. Four goes up. So the fourth one, you're going to put it down in front. When you put this piece in front, the top is going to be in front too, but you don't want it like that. You want to take that and put it behind. See that? Just take it, put it behind. So now you'll have something like this this flap and this flap so what you want to do here is you want to take this flap fold it like so so it'll just be like this over this piece so it's like this and then you're just going to take this piece fold it down and so now put a piece of tape right here and put it over it. So do this. Take it 
take it, put it right here, like so, and then you're just gonna put the piece down. You can also use glue, but I don't really like glue. Period. I just don't like glue. So that is how you make a hexaflexagon. It is really cool. Fun to play with, especially when you're bored. So that's it for today's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And that is it for paper tutorials today. Thank you for watching.